what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here in my backyard and I want to try to answer a question. Is this 2020 Toyota Tacoma Limited the best mid-size truck that you can get in this segment that's really the best all-arounder? But let's talk a little bit about Toyota and the Tacoma. Believe it or not, the Tacoma has been around since 1995. What's interesting is back in 1995, this segment of truck was called the compact truck segment. Now things have grown a little bit. It's called the midsize truck segment. Lots of competition from many different brands and Toyota is still sticking to their guns when it comes to trying to bring you the best in reliability and the best in durability. With this 2020 Tacoma, there are quite a few changes, believe it or not. And being the limited trim level, you're gonna see some of those changes in a very big way without having to go the full TRD Off-Road Pro. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 Toyota Tacoma Limited and really see if it's the mid-size truck champion. Right off the bat, you'll see some changes all new for 2020. New headlight design with the LEDs, all LED headlight and daytime running lamp. You do still have these fake vents here, which I am gonna zonk. I wish they would've just smoothed this out or whatnot, but still nice to see that update on this truck. You drop down, you have LED fog lamps. I like the chrome surrounds, and I like the way that it's a nice flat black in there. As we come across the all new grill for 2020, so this being a limited, you're gonna have the chrome trim around with the horizontal silver slots. You're gonna get a plethora of cameras, including a 360 degree camera and this forward facing camera. Still same, front fascia as we work our way down the lower bumper. And this being a limited trim has that air dam there down low for aerodynamics. As we go up onto the hood, you're still gonna get those same distinct body lines, very, very sharp in its exterior presence to give it some personality for a smaller truck size. Because remember, like I said, lots of competition for your dollars in this midsize truck segment. Now, when we come around the bend, I'm liking the color match flared fenders, especially with the particular color of this Tacoma. The Limited, this is an all new wheel design for the Limited trim. You have this nice, almost chrome polished finish to the aluminum wheel. You have your center cap there, uh, really gives it a nice look. And I'm also liking the texture design around each of the slots. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what is the size of this wheel? This is an 18 inch wheel, 265 on the width. That's gonna be a 50 series sidewall. You can see the nice amount of space between the top of the tire and inside the fender. And you can see the suspension, uh, inner bits, the shock, the springs, all those good pieces. And that's what really a truck buyer is looking for. Now, as we go down the side, a nice chrome Tacoma badge. On the limited trim, you're gonna get chrome mirror caps, LED turn light signals built into the mirrors. One of my favorite body lines on the Tacoma is this one on the lower portion of the doors as it works its way back, kind of curves up and then comes to the back. Very, very nice overall roof line. This one does have a sunroof at the limited trim. You have your limited badge that does match the chrome of everything else that's happening on the side. We get back to the bed of the truck, flared fender look. You can see that uh, nice frame and suspension on the rear of the, of the truck as well. And when we get to the tail of the business, you're gonna see something all new for 2020. These are updated uh, taillights. And then this one being a four by four limited, nice clean, not too many emblems or anything like that. I like the way they stamp Tacoma into the um, tailgate. And then of course, you're gonna get all your tow hookup nice and high out of the mud, out of the dirt. And this is also going to double as a step to get in. Now, when we open up the back, it's a nice soft release. You can see it's got a bed liner already installed. You're gonna get power source, which is great for your tools if you're tailgating or whatnot, power sliding rear uh, cab window, and tons of tie down locations, which is gonna make it very versatile. And that LED lighting that's for the, the bed at the back of the cab, the other night I opened up the doors and it's very, very bright and illuminates this area super well. Let's go ahead though. Talked about the outside, talked about the bed of the truck. Let's pop the hood and see what we're working with 
engine and transmission wise in this Tacoma. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. You do have a prop rod, which I am gonna zonk that, especially because it is a little heavier of a hood, but underneath the hood is that tried and true engine. You are looking at that 3.5 liter V6, 278 horsepower, 265 pound-feet of torque. It's all made it through a six-speed automatic transmission and connecting you through the to the ground through a four-wheel drive system. You could tow up to 6,500 pounds, zero to 60, 7.7 seconds, quarter mile and 16 flat, MPGs, 18 in the city and 22 on the highway. And I think that's where it is a little behind some of the competition when it comes to that overall tow rating. But definitely people have proven that you could get hundreds of thousands of miles out of this engine and transmission setup. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the interior and see what's different for 2020. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Toyota Tacoma Limited. I know you're at that point where you're like, Joe, I've always wanted a Tacoma. I think now it's ready for me to pop and, and buy one. How much is it? This Limited, the way that you see it, is an MSRP of $42,000. I know that may seem like an enormous amount of money, but when you compare it to the competition, it actually brings a lot, especially that reliability factor to the door panels. Now on this particular Limited, I like the two-tone, that darker chocolate brown with the darker material on the door panel. Soft on the chocolate brown, hard as a rock on the black plastic sections, but they are easy to clean. You do have a double Yoo-Hoo uh, holder down there in the door pocket. No place really for a Twinkie though, so you might have to hold on to that. This one has the optional JBL sound system. We come to the dash. I like the way they brought the chocolate brown into the dash part. This is hard, but this is nice and soft. This is all new. So this one has the optional eight inch infotainment system screen. You have your navigation, very quick reacting. You could go back to home, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Alexa, the whole nine yards. Still the same trim on the AC vents, easy to use. You got your start stop button, very easy to get to. And I like the way they put the chrome trim around everything here. This is gonna allow you to go from two wheel drive to four high and four low. You got dual climate control, which is shown here on the LED display. And you have heated seats, but no ventilated seats. I wish at $42,000 you could get ventilated seats in one of these trucks. You drop down, you're gonna have some of that wonderful uh, 2.0 sensing technology from Toyota. This allows you to power slide that rear window. You also have a USB and a 12 volt and wireless charging. So technology wise, there once was upon a time where if you bought a Tacoma, you got two cans and a string, but now you have lots of technology in here. Two cup holders. This is gonna control that six speed automatic transmission. You got a place here for your breath mints, another uh, water. Maybe you're drinking too much Yoo-Hoo, you're getting a little bit of a sugar buzz going on. You could wash it down with some water. Key fob is where Toyota is lacking. It makes me feel like it's from something from 1998. So I am gonna zonk the key fob, but it is very light. So if you don't like heavy key fobs in your pocket, then you're, you're good to go. Good old fashioned e-brake, very, very hard. It's like an old piece of sushi that's been dried out in the sun. Don't like how hard the armrest is, but it is at a good height. You open it up, you have another two USBs in there and plenty of room for your Twinkies. So if you can't squeeze your Twinkies in the door, you can definitely squeeze them in there without busting the cream out. Seats, love them. Leather, love the texture, the material to hold you in place. The stitch work is great. Nice quality from the seats and they're comfy, which is awesome as well. Like I mentioned earlier, this one has a nice uh, standard sunroof and you have an auto dimming mirror. My only zonk for it is not the frameless kind, which somebody had brought up a good, a good question. They're like, well, isn't this one better because you could touch it without putting fingerprints on it? You just adjust it this way, guys. You don't have to actually hold the mirror on the mirror side to move it. So yes, you can do it this way, but on, if it was frameless, you could grab it at top and bottom. Overall, still the same amount of space. Get on over to the business end. I'll show you the changes for 2020. All right, guys, business time. You do have, like I was saying on the driver's side, 10-way adjustable seats, which is a very nice touch in here. Steering wheel, same exact wheel, but it's gonna be wrapped in leather. I like the perforated design here. You're gonna have nice flat black buttons. They are dated, but they're simple and easy to use and understand. And then you have that updated dash. So you have 
backlit LED. I like that over four inch display in the center because you could toggle through a plethora of information, which is great, real easy to use, and the graphics and fonts and colors are perfect. Visibility out the windshield looks great. Everything else up here makes sense, and I can see why this truck is so popular in that midsize segment. Let's check out the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna enjoy this Tacoma. All right, guys, back seat time in the Tacoma. It is a little tight back here. Um, I'll be honest with you. Leg room, I did move the seat, the back of the seat up just a little bit, just to allow me a little bit more room so I wasn't squished back here. But I do like the way that nice chocolate brown leather material is all the way around the seat. You do have a large pocket over here, no pocket over there. So any back scratcher, maybe uh, an abacus or a book you can store here. You have two cup holders, but no connectivity. So what I'm thinking is, is those two USBs that are inside the center console are for the people in the back seat. The, the challenge is, is where, where you're gonna run the cords. So uh, I'm not really digging that. Of course, there's no rear AC, as you can see, and no center armrest as well. So those are a few zonks that I think at $42,000, this being the limited trim, I would like to see those additions back here. But the seats are comfy, plenty of headroom, why don't we go ahead? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Tacoma for a spin. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Tacoma Limited. Really enjoy driving this truck because every time you get behind the wheel, you know exactly where everything is. It's nicely placed out. If you've had an older Tacoma, a lot of this is gonna make sense when you get into this truck. And yes, there hasn't been a major, major redesign uh, in quite a few years now, but the good news is, is that they've done some tweaks to the 2020 to really bring it up to a higher standard when it comes to technology and connectivity. I do like the large eight inch infotainment system. You can make it to where you just see your navigation. Having the Apple CarPlay, the Android Auto, I think is a no brainer and it makes sense in today's day and age. Looking out over the massive hood, it gives you a great visual reference point the a pillars are nice and far apart the back window is super clear and just a very comfortable driving truck i mean you could leave this in two-wheel drive have that rear wheel drive pickup truck and drive it every day smooth comfortable the, the nice leather finishes and everything um just brings it up to a little bit higher level as to be expected in a limited trim Tacoma. On the brakes into this right hand bend, I'm gonna kinda let it carry a little speed just to show you the handling. Really holds the road well. It's a little bouncy, but nothing too terrible. Uh, nothing that you wouldn't expect in a mid-sized pickup truck. Where everything is is nicely laid out. Having that wonderful wireless charging down there is a heaven sent and the cockpit in here is very well thought out. I love having the dual climate controls. It's a very nice touch, especially when you're married. You wanna stay married, happy wife, happy life. Uh, you got the heated seats. It would have been nice to have ventilated seats in here. I'm not gonna lie, especially living in Florida. The flat black dash, even though it's hard, there's no glare, which is really, really nice. Uh, I think your passengers are not gonna be as happy as you being up front because it is a little bit more on the tighter side back there but super smooth and with like i said that reliability that bulletproof reliability that toyota is known for road noise is nothing too crazy and really i'm digging the paint job on this particular tacoma limited i, I really think it fits it to a t very nicely. I know a lot of you uh, ask me from time to time, what does the audio sound like? This JBL sound system has a nice clear sound to it. It's got bass, if that's the type of thing that you want to get out of your music, but it's very clear and it really fills up the cabin nicely. Uh, overall, I think that if I'm going mid-sized truck, it's probably going to go to it's probably going to go Tacoma. Uh, especially when you look at what the other competition is bringing to the table. I think I personally would just fork over uh, the few extra thousand and go TRD Pro 
just because I love the look of that truck. Absolutely love it. But if you want something that's a little less low key, but yet has more tech than the TRD Pro, definitely this uh, Limited really checks off so many boxes. Let me slow down a little bit here and I'm gonna do a little bit of an acceleration test from a roll. So we're doing about 28 miles an hour on throttle. Six speed drops down. It is a little bit harder on the shifts, but um, you know, it, it's not the newest transmission. Obviously the 10 speed in the Ford Ranger um, is a much more nicer shifting transmission, but hey, this combination has been through it all in this in this Tacoma and you know it's it's gonna be there for you when you need it. Gauges, they're dated, but they're so clear to read. Uh, the silver is what kinda just throws it off. I wish they would've just dropped the silver, use a different color, different material, I think would've brightened it up without actually changing the gauges uh, all the way, but uh, very, very capable truck. Let's see how she handles in this right-hand bend here. I'm gonna change lanes real quick. Into this right-hand bend. Holds a line nice. Just a little bit of, of body roll, but then she plants herself and you feel confident and capable. Good feedback through the steering wheel and just, uh, you know, overall a very, very smooth riding truck, um, which there used to be once upon a time where if you got a truck, it was almost like you were riding in a Flintstone mobile with how uncomfortable it is. But in this limited, especially with the extra touches it's, it's just very very tasteful and and super well done i'm very excited to see hey when when eventually the tacoma is going to be redesigned and what toyota brings to the table uh, but from an all-rounder I, I think this 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 tacoma limited really is that best mid-size all-arounder for sure good good feedback from the brakes I know one of the big zonks is not having four-wheel disc brakes uh, in the Tacoma, but still quite capable, even with the setup that it does have. All right, guys, I pulled this over in this parking lot. I just wanna show the awesome tech when it comes to the backup uh, camera. But when you put it in reverse, you're gonna get your 360 on this uh, Tacoma Limited. There we are out back and it does have the trajectory. Now the images are not the clearest, but this is a movement in the right direction. And then you could actually stretch out just the rear with the trajectory as well. It would be nice to have some other um, safety features there to make this a little bit more 21st century, but there's our Tacoma 360 from the top and very, very easy to understand, look at, especially like I said, when you're going through this infotainment system, it works really well. Here's everything for navigation. When you go into home, you got your three screens set up there. If I wanna go into radio, obviously I was rocking out to 90s on nine. Really, I'm the biggest fan, 80s on eight. I, I just love 80s music, what I grew up to. You got your power sliding uh, button right there to slide the rear glass, which is a very nice touch and everything else exactly where you expect it to be. Now, if you wanna manually shift, you just slide the shifter over and you're gonna bump it up to go up a gear, down to go down a gear. So it's reversed than what I normally like to see, but at least you have that ability to shift it up and down. There's no paddles or anything on the back of the steering wheel. Um, right now, I have it in first on throttle. So you can see how acceleration is a little bit quicker if you're gonna use the manual uh, shift mode by taking that shifter and putting it over there. And then when you're done, you just slide it right back and you're in drive. All right guys, so hopefully this gave you a nice overview of what the Tacoma Limited is all about. This being the first Tacoma Limited that we've ever done on Rady's Rise. We're going to uh, get back to my backyard and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, been another great day here with this Tacoma. I definitely gotta thank everybody at Toyota, Corey and Zach and the rest of the crew allowing me access to this press fleet vehicle. I could clearly see why this is 
the leader in that midsize truck segment, especially at the limited trim, really gives a great all-arounder truck. You do have the 4x4 capability, and you don't have to have that extra stuff that you're probably not going to use if you go the TRD Pro route. Unless, of course, you want to do some major rock crawling, at least you have that option. But this is definitely a standout in the midsize truck segment. If it's trucks like these that you want to see on the channel and keep seeing, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee helping me capture this Tacoma. Busy day, but we're getting it done. And thanks to your hard work, Tom, it's happening. So I appreciate that. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.